Requested by Sandra Matute, The Last Dinosaur is a 1977 co-production from Rankin Bass and Super Eye Productions, and features some suitmation dinosaurs. Mr. Thrust, or Maston, is the richest man alive, an avid hunter and our protagonist. Him and the team are out to find the last dinosaur. Well, they were out to study a T-Rex, but there's plenty of other dinosaurs as well. The T-Rex is in an isolated valley. They need this nifty drill vehicle to get there. And unfortunately, our humans get trapped there. This pan shot looks pretty cool. The acting is fine. I like how the T-Rex suit actor uses his head to roll stuff around. This is a cool natural arch. There's a kaiju fight. It's not great, but it does feature some good bits. Very primal, lots of biting, there's some clawing, and even some impalement. This scene made me laugh. The buildings and vehicles look passable, but the first dinosaur you see is this. It's not good. The next dinosaur looks a little bit better, especially in far shots. They should have just let him be the first dinosaur in the film. The T-Rex doesn't look good either, but it still looks much better than the flying ones. Fine in some scenes even. Though sometimes his jaw constantly flaps and his arms are pretty comical. If you're wondering, apparently this T-Rex suit was reused for that Attack of the Super Monsters movie I reviewed. Digital effects range from being good to, well, not good. The T-Rex seems to fluctuate on how large it is. It's a common thing in kaiju movies, but I still think it should be mentioned. This is not how skulls and muscle work. Mastin's glasses always sit weird on his face. Like, I don't know if they're the wrong size or if the actor just has a weird face, and I don't want to body shame people on attributes that they have no control over, but it's distracting in a lot of scenes. Camera work is bad. There's a love triangle that's awful. On one side, you have two characters who casually flirted and end up kissing during an argument. On the other, you have the same female, award-winning, respected photographer, hooking up with Mr. Thrust, but seemingly only so he would change his mind about letting her go on the expedition. Either one seems like a bad relationship, so it being in the movie just seems like an unneeded additional conflict. If you've watched many of my videos, then you know it bugs me when Showa Godzilla roars are used for non-Showa Godzilla monsters. Throughout the movie, there's some Godzilla that stinks out of the T-Rex. There's a dramatic cue that the film uses. At times, it's used extremely well, but towards the end of the film, it just keeps popping up and it's just annoying by that point. It's fairly unique. I can't think of another dinosaur movie off the top of my head that features suitmation instead of stop motion, animatronic, CG, or those poor actual lizards in costumes, but that doesn't mean it's good. It's basically a storyline that's been done many times and by better movies. It's a group of modern humans who are stranded on or in a primitive prehistoric land. And if you want something along those lines, I would suggest At the Earth's Core over this movie. It has Peter Cushing, Doug McClure, and actually I just remembered it has a brief suitmation giant monster fight as well. Less dinosaurs and more bipedal pig beasts though. So yeah, I'd only recommend this if the footage sparks your interest or if you want to see a suitmation dinosaur fight. Thanks for watching.